loin d'abord. Hi guys, welcome to a little product introduction and video review on a pretty cool little item. What you have in front of you is the Black Ops Sniper. Now this is a 177 cal pallet rifle. This is a brake barrel design. Really nice gun by, by Black Ops. Um, a lot of their guns are just really nice quality and this is one of them. Now what you get is actually quite a bit for your money. Um, this comes with a lot of little different little features. I'll go ahead and cover them in just a second. But overall, this is a really nice, hard-hitting rifle. Uh, works out really well, and I actually enjoy it quite a bit. Now, starting from the back to the front, <clears throat> in the back end, you have a cheek rest, which is adjustable. You have two Allen wrench screws in here. You can adjust this either higher or lower. Sit it flush with the rest of the stock. Works out really nice. Then you have your scope. Your scope isn't that big of a magnification, but it works well, easy to adjust. It comes with really nice mounts and uh, no movement at all. The rail is covered in a plastic, um, and but it holds really snug, and I haven't had really any movement on it at all. Um, you can set zero really easily. Uh, you go ahead and take off these two little caps, and then go ahead and set your uh, adjustments while you're shooting the gun. Now, once you get it zeroed out, I suggest that you use the same pellets. Unless you switch pellets, um, you're probably going to have to re-zero the gun. Now, out of the box, didn't have any real big issues. I just had to raise or lower the uh, scope just a little bit and fine tune it. But it was actually really good out of the box. Now, on the bottom end, you have a really nice grip here, very ergonomic. And it really feels good in hand, very wide. Um, on the trigger, you have your trigger, and then you also have your safety right there next to it, easy to operate and manipulate. In the very front end, you have the uh, addition of two rails on both sides. The gun is actually a little heavy and a little awkward to hold on camera, but um, you also have your bipod, and it comes with both of them. They mount on both sides. They're two separate pieces. They will lock up into place. You can either swing them forward or you can actually swing them back if you wanted to. You do have the capability of adding a little bit more and fine tuning uh, with turning this little knob here. Then you can adjust um, to the area or the height that you want and then lock it down by retightening it right there. Easy to use, straightforward, really nicely designed. Uh, it's a great gun. Now on the front end, you have your barrel you go ahead and break it down to pump it and then place your pallet in. Uh, you have a fake suppressor in the front end. It's metal and this is plastic on the back end of it. But it's just cosmetic. Uh, it doesn't do anything like that, anything else but, you know, look really nice. Um, uh, overall, the gun has some weight to it. But actually, that works out nicely because it has a pretty decent and powerful spring with inside the gun. Uh, when you fire, you don't really feel that spring move around at all. On my a couple of my older rifles, um, I would feel the movement of the spring and stuff. I wish they were a little bit heavier. This one's actually heavy enough where you don't feel it, and it pretty much stays uh, where you aim it. You know, I mean, it doesn't move around that much. Overall, fun, a very enjoyable gun to shoot. Uh, if you are going to shoot this in your backyard, though, be aware that it can cut through uh, wooden pickets and you really want to put something behind your target uh, as far as maybe a metal piece of small piece of metal that will stop the pellets from traveling past your uh, fence and into somebody else's yard uh, the noise on it it is a little noisy um, especially the first shot that i fired through it i mean it was it was a loud crack but um it's not that bad uh, just be aware you know you have neighbors you don't want to make anybody mad and then have them end up calling the cops and then you're not able to shoot anymore at your home. So uh, be aware of your neighbors and be aware of the capabilities of this gun. It's actually really nice but very powerful. That is a look at the uh, Black Ops Sniper. Any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, for the gun itself, you can check out the Black Ops website. They do carry it and um, if not, they can probably 
tell you someplace where you can pick it up near you. But um, that's it. You guys have a good one. Be safe. Take care. If you can, please subscribe. Thanks for watching.